Hi, welcome to this lecture system demo for planning. This content is designed by myyug.com. In case of any questions and and you have some queries, you can send an email through the official response of this lecture. Let's discuss about planning. What planning contains? What are the things required to do planning and how we do it in SAP. There's various planning required, expense planning, activity planning, SKF planning, define plan layouts, planner profile. So these are the planning components we need to configure in SAP to able to plan systematically and do it with the ERP so let's look at the system first, Ex expense planning. The T code for that is KP06. So here we go to slash N KP06. Here we, we saw a couple of things. First, the version, usually zero, but you can plan in any version you define from period to period fiscal year you need a cost center or you can plan with the cost center groups or you can plan with like couple of cost centers for this example i'll take this one cost center activity type and cost element to plan an expense you exactly need cost center what activity and what cost element those three things okay so you click this button here overview or press F5 click on that you will see this is activity MSEA01 machine 01 cost element fixed cost I want 8000 distribution how you want to distribute number two says that equally distributed or distribution as before there is a couple of options you can you can plan then plan variable cost, plan fixed cost, and plan variable consumption. So these are the key figures you can you, you can tweak and twist the columns. Okay. Now let's go back to detail. Like now, these are monthly. The detail plan of eight thousand fixed cost. This is the detail month wise for variable cost this is detail you can change this value if you want to enter 800 you can enter 800 you can enter 800 here yep. then we go back you see the value here it change because we change the value on the monthly plan so anything we we want to update we can update there so this is kp20 kp06 now we're gonna see kp26 that is activity planning here we see activity planning in the activity planning here we plan what kind of activity and what are the rates we don't plan anything else. In the KP06, we plan the expenses specific to our activity. On KP26, we just plan an activity. So let's go to KP26 right here on the screen and see how that screen looks like. Slash M KP26. Here, if you see the same same cost center and same activity type, but you don't see the cost element. However, in activity type also, we have to mention a cost element. But while planning, we don't have to mention what are the detail monthly. We just have to plan what are the rates. For example, if we are planning for machine 01, what is the rate? Like how much this activity should be charged? For example, it's a rate. Let's see. Here, if you see here, okay so these are the hours since unit of measure is hour so this 
we are anticipating in January this activity will have 100 hours variables 100 hours this will be cost element you see it's the same for each month we don't have a detailed cost like how, how much cost it will spend how much money will spend on that activity it's just hours these are the rates so for example if anybody using 20 hours for this particular month so the cost will be 20 multiplied by this figure this figure price per unit you can mention here whatever price if you, if you want this is just one hour this unit this cost is just one hour if somebody owned 20 hours so it will be 20 multiplied by this if you have mentioned here 100 for January so the cost for 20 hours will be divided by 5 since this is 100 hours so this is how you plan activity just the hours or whatever you need of major you decided it may be day or it may be anything else the companies want for that specific activity in this case it is machine hours okay now let's go to kp46 okay kp46 is for skf planning statistical key figure planning remember last lecture on the mass data setup we discussed about skf uh, which stands for statistical key figure we're gonna see that now in sap how it looks like come here slash n kp 46 here there is there is varieties of layouts available okay it, you you can key, create your own layout you know we're gonna see in in a minute how it looks like okay but i'm gonna use the the first one this one okay in statistical key figure what we plan okay here we mention cost center and the statistical key figure in this case I'm, I'm taking from 10 to 30 then go to layout there's nothing here so we can we can plan here like we can say 10 current plan value so for example I wanted to have 100 maximum plan value 100,000 hit enter I'm gonna after this done I'm gonna show you how it looks like okay so let's see let's go to overview here we'll be seeing that similar way how the overview looks like on statistical key figure while it is processing I wanted to point out one more thing in expense planning as we saw last time it has detail like how much money we're gonna spend each month and in the activity planning we saw how many hours every month or how many how many hours will cost or how much should be a hourly cost so we we do that in KP 26 for example you decided to charge $20 per hour so you can mention that in KP26, okay, machine one will cost $20 per hour. So whatever hours this KP06 we plan, it will multiply by that many hours. So you see the relationship between KP06 and KP26? Once you start practicing, you'll get no more. Let's see if that is, yeah. If you see here, the plan, current plan values, according to it, it's just an estimate no it's 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 not real i just took an example it has formulas in those statistical key figure while we create mass data so it it just i just put this value and it bifurcated those hundred how those hundred is calculated you see here i just put hundred and based on some formulas it calculated so this is how you do statistical key figure planning now let's see how we create layout or how we use the layout for that let's go back kp65 is the t code okay where you can use 
our SAP layout or create our own user-defined layout. Here I'm showing you how to create a user-defined layout. Let's see. KP65 or 75, the both are same. Here, let's see. Costs planning. I'm going to name it cost planning. You see here there is an option of copying from existing layout. Okay, let's see how we can copy from existing layout. I know I created one, so I can copy it from there. Okay, hit the button create. Here you see cost center, cost element, plan fixed cost, distribution, plan variable. It's, it's easy, for example, I wanted to add a column, new one. Okay, so add a new, new lead column, double click here and select. For example, I want this resource button to be there. Okay, you can specify what resource you want. Or you can just leave it star, no, that means all. That is added. So that will be also be there in the layout. You can use this layout in the, in the future if you want. If you, if you want to create from scratch it the same way. Let's go back to the we went to KP65 last time, we'll go to KP75, it's the same. Okay, I don't select copy here, I just select create. I have to mention here some cost planning, create. You see there's nothing here. So you come here, double click, select, okay, cost center. Here you can select if you want any specific cost center or cost center ranges, like from and to, from that controlling area. Here, like that is five, so you can select one thousand till for example, till this, whatever cost center in between those it will capture, or you can use that in this layout. Or you can simply put star, which will make you use everything. So, characteristic value name. So these are like what do you want? Is it is it just a characteristic value or name or what do you want just the just the value or just the name on on that layout how you want to look look like how you want the layout to look like so you can select okay I just select characteristic value hit enter column 2 same way you can select like period no uh, fiscal year or not uh, something like that anything activity type anything you want just drag and drop and select once you start practicing, you'll have more questions. Then you can ask those questions if you have. I'm happy to help you guys. Myuk.com usually uh, answers questions whenever a student asks. And uh, we'll be happy to answer any of your questions related to config or you stuck somewhere. You can always uh, leave a feedback and we can uh, reply to that feedback. The last section here on this demo is KP34, creating a planning profile. That is as important as other procedures. If you see here, I went backward. Usually what happens, you create planning profile, then layout, then escape planning, then activity planning, then expense planning. That's the last step you do in your planning. But I went backward, the reason I wanted to show you the big picture then come back to the basic like how it is configured okay we'll go back to kp06 once again once we once we are done with the planner profile so let's go back and here the t code for that is kp34 hit enter these are the planner profiles already available in sap but however if you want to create one just then test Zero one test zero one. Okay, I just created. That's it. Okay. Well, once you created, you have to select parameters like controlling area. What what controlling area? So everything you have to you have to create from scratch. Or okay. If you don't do that, okay. If you don't want to do that, simple. Take this one. 
copy and give your primal profile like tests test hit enter it copied all the all those department no then you can change no it's not that you copied you cannot change you can change here if you don't want this one you can delete from here and add whatever you want or you want if you want to new new entries no, you you can select from this drop down menu like a lot of planning areas available like you can plan from statistical key figure business processes order anything you want you can add in that profile so once you do that you can use that profile use that profile to create a layout specific to your profile okay now let's go back and see what is there what is inside here layout for controlling cost element plan it took you you can plan with like let's see let's integrated then you can include those files like your excel file if you want you can select the destination file file description here then select here default parameters see these are the things you can put into that planning profile like words and period fiscal year cost enter activity type or groups so this is about planning i hope you guys enjoyed this lecture once again thank you for attending this demo this demo is con the demo is designed by myyuk.com and you can if you are taking this course from a reliable resource you can get back to us through the messages thank you for attending this course once again